We talk a lot every Wednesday on Mid Morning about building stronger relationships with your spouse, your kids, your coworkers. In today's relationship reboot, though, is something a little different. We're talking about building stronger relationships with people in our communities who we don't know or we don't have a close bond with. So, our relationship guru, Dr. Carol Brees, is with us with a challenge to put down the smartphone and go ahead and talk to the person next to you. Carol, I <laughs> good morning. Good morning. So uh, obviously, I love this. Yeah. Two of our closest friends, my mm -hmm. wife and my closest friends, are people. We were at a restaurant in St. Paul, and uh, they were on the corner, and we were right here, mm -hmm. and we just started talking to them. I love that and idea. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. It's and so, magical. But but why but, would you tell people? I mean, people are so used to like, mm -hmm. don't talk to strangers. Right. You're in right. this. Like, exactly. Right, and we're talking to adults right now, so kids still yeah. maybe, you know. Mm -hmm. One of the things we're finding from our research on the fabulous digital age is that relationships with people with whom we're already close are getting closer. So our strong ties are getting stronger. So, oh, okay. you know, a lot of times when we're standing in line at Chipotle mm -hmm. or sitting in a coffee shop, we're texting our mom, we're sending emoji right. to our, you know, our friends. But what we're not doing is having conversations mm. with the person sitting but next to us. Is that really important? Do you have to be talking to people next to you? Do you have to get to know the person in the elevator or in the checkout line? Well, so one of the, the outcomes of strong ties getting stronger is that our research is showing that our weak ties mm. are getting weaker. So community mm. relationships are mm. actually weakening because, I mean, when you think about it, we. We have, all of us, a finite number of minutes in every day, sure. you know? Mm -hmm. And so if in those extra minutes when we're standing in line at mm. Caribou, we're connecting with those people we already know, we're missing the opportunities to get to know people we don't know, and especially people who might be different from us. But what are the, what are the benefits of that? I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of people yeah. will say, well, I want to focus on those close personal relationships because that's what matters to me. Exactly, and that's great. Mm -hmm. I don't want to discourage <laughs> it. Keep building strong tie relationships. But in our communities, especially right now when our communities are hurting mm. and you know there's a lot of pain in the world, it's really important to be putting your head up and talking to mm. people who might look different than you, mm. people even in your neighborhood who you don't necessarily talk to because you know if you watch people walk down the street, most people are like this. Mm -hmm. And so what we do Which is- Which isn't we, to say though, Carol, that to, people were normally before this were walking around just talking to people hey, left and right. Waving. But we I were, do think right. when you were in line, mm -hmm. you would stumble into conversation. Right, you'd stumble into conversation. You might learn something about someone who's different from you. Mm. You might find a friendship, like you were saying, with, yeah. with other people. One of the things it can also do as you learn the life stories of other people is it builds your empathy. Mm. You realize that, oh, wait, uh, you know, maybe the way I think or live isn't the only way. How do you do it? How do you get started? Yeah. Well, what's for, the opener? Without, for being, people, uh, without being a creep. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be a I weirdo. Say that. You know? Right. Well, because for extroverts, it's really easy. So, you know, I have three easy tips, even if you're not an extrovert. Okay. Start with a compliment. It's so easy. Oh, I love to, that. Then you're building kindness, too. Absolutely. You know, simple stuff say. like, what a great orange tie. Um, you know, fabulous. You're welcome. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, yeah. a, a sincere compliment. Yeah. Sure. Um, you know, okay, one time that's someone one said, you know, hey, great bangs, and we ended up being friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Second tip, simply look for something you have in common. I always find this to be the easy one. Like, if you have kids and there's someone in line who has kids, you're like, hey, cute toddler. Oh my gosh, I remember when I had, you know, yeah. Yeah. easy. Or Packer shirts for me, because I'm from Wisconsin. Oh, of course. You're like, hey, you're a Packer fan. <laughs> so, you know, any, look for something in common. It's a great way to strike up a conversation. Conversation. And you could just reduce the creep factor by telling someone what you're up to. Like, hey, I'm trying to be friendlier to strangers. You having a good day? Like it's that. not always yeah. going to work. Like, I tried it in Chipotle line the other day. I tried all my best stuff, and the guy just wasn't having it. Yeah. But that's okay. Well, that's all right. Too. You never yeah. know. Yeah. I, I enjoy it. People, uh, and I try to get out of the newsroom and put yeah. my phone down and go yeah. and just talk to people. You're good about that. I, I love good. the empathy part of it, though, because right. I think that we're at a point right now, yeah. especially, where we need a lot of empathy for our community and those around us. Well, so, and wonderful. as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, hate does not drive out hate. Only love can do that. And these little moments of conversation with people in our community, even in our workplaces that we just don't spend time with, that's a kind of love. Yeah. You know, just and a it, little yeah. moment. It adds up. I love Carol, it. thank it you. Up. You're welcome. The youngest 